Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond, and I'm back again with Teslin, and we're gonna play some Batman for you. Okay, so uh, why don't you tell us what you brought for us today, Teslin? All right, so brought the Suicide Squad. Leading the crew is Deadshot, which is the Will Shot variant. Then we have Poison Ivy. We have Cheshire. We have TDK, uh, the new Deathstroke that acts as a henchman. Uh, Weasel and Diablo and for equipment I have right motivation on Deadshot and right motivation on Poison Ivy. Cool. So yeah, we'll see how the Suicide Squad fares again this time. Okay, so I am going to be bringing Joker for you guys today. So there's definitely a couple new models that I wanted to try out. So starting off, we've got uh, Joker Explosive Arrival. So I want to see how he fares. And then we've got the new Harley Quinn and the boys. Um, and then classic Buffon. Thug 1. Thug 6. Thug 4. Polka Dot Man. And Mad Hatter decided he'd jump in the fray today as well. Uh, as far as my equipment goes, I have extra ammo on Buffon. Um, Thug 4 has a grapple gun. And Thug 1 has Joker's gas. So we're coming back to you guys at the end of deployment. So we ended up with hidden evidences for our scenario and heat wave for our event. Um, I won the roll off. Uh, so Joker decided to take the 10 inch deployment zone and Suicide Squad is in the eight inch deployment zone. So we'll just go over kind of an overview so you guys can see how we're set up here. So we've got Harley, Buffon, we've got our thug here. Polka Dot Man, our Thug and Mad Hatter over here, and our last Thug over here, and Joker's off the board. Uh, where, that's where he's going to start. Uh, over here we have Deadshot and Poison Ivy sticking together. Uh, Cheshire, TDK over here on the left side. On the right side, Weasel, Deathstroke, and Diablo. Everybody's within uh, Inspire range. Nice. Um, same with me. That goes without saying because of that Joker. And then for our um, suspects that we put down, so the Joker are these two. Um, so I chose Weasel to put them within eight. And then I chose uh, Buffoon, and I put within eight. Again. So they're over here and over here. So we'll do our roll off to see who gets to choose for first turn. So five for me. Five for me. All right. Two. Four. All right. So it's your choice. I'll go first. Okay. So we'll come back after the first activation of the game. Okay. So why don't you go over your audacities with us, Teslin? I put one on Deadshot, one on Poison Ivy, one on Cheshire, and one on Deathstroke. Over here. Okay. And then because I'm Joker, I put one on Harley and one on Mad Hatter, and the rest, the other two I'll throw out as I see fit. Um, and then for a phase one card, taking the lead was played by the Suicide Squad. For TDK's activation, he just moved up, and with his free Inspire, uh, revealed Josh's suspect marker, which right scored me revealing the plan. Yep, and uh, because he revealed that suspect, I was able to score so long it's been a gas, and he chose TDK as the model. So TDK has Enervating 2 from it now. So the first activation for the Joker crew was Thug1 who was over here. So he was within 10 of this sewer and because Joker's off the board he's inspiring everybody right now. So uh, he used his free manipulate from his inspire to go through the sewer and he popped out over here where you guys can see him and he used his special action to Poison gas, Joker's gas, um, Weasel, Poison Ivy, Deadshot, and TDK. So obviously Poison Ivy won't suffer the poison, but the other three will. And then he put down a suspect, and that let me score, let them in on a joke. And the cards we discarded were Bite the Dust from my hand and Target Acquired from Teslin's. Okay, for this activation, Cheshire wins. She had Audacity, so she moved up to uh, the knife clown. She attacked him, 
got a crit on him, did two blood and knocked him down, uh, inflicted him with poison. She used a special to make him do a poison test right away. He failed, so he took another two blood. And because she failed, she played an objective card, Reinforcement Beacon Planted, which I put back in Josh's deployment zone. Yep. And then as a resource, I used Overdrive to drop a Venom container over here. Yep. So uh, this thug is alive on one blood and one stun. <laughs> so we'll come back with Joker's Retaliation. The next activation for Joker was Buffon over here. So he started behind this truck, came up. We uh, revealed our suspect that was there. I discarded a card from my hand, grabbed a new one. We put that suspect down from being inspired by Joker. Um, and then we played Let Them Do Their Thing. And we sent the template in this direction. It ended up being able to hit TDK. So he took two stun and I scored that card. Just before we go on to the next Suicide Squad activation, uh, we forgot uh, Cheshire. She was inspired. So she actually revealed the suspect that I put down earlier over here. And that let me score so long it's been a gas. Um, yeah, so we'll come back with uh, the, the next Suicide Squad activation, which was Diablo. Uh, so Diablo just moved up his full movement. Uh, oh, actually, before that, he passed his regrets. I effort once to roll three dice. So he's actually able to attack. Yep. So as a resource, I used Ruthless Team which allowed him to count as having an audacity. Yep. So and, he, and uh, sorry, I, I played stage play as an objective, and I also played seasoning the mix as a resource. Okay. So what, he moved up, placed a suspect mar marker, which scored me target acquired. And then he threw his flame and tattoos at Buffoon, which did three blood and a fire. Then he used his special to use Flame and Wave and did another blood, which killed him. Yep. And uh, my event markers for stage play are right where you see them. So we're not sure if this is how it works or not. But uh, for this game, we're playing it that he counts as having audacity. So that will put a marker on stage play. Uh, and then my other counter is over here. So we'll come back with some Joker activations. Next Joker activation was Thug4, who started over here, just moved over here, and he put down some explosive teeth, and obviously a five was rolled for that. The next Suicide Squad model activation was Weasel, but just before that happened, Seasoning the Mix was played by Joker, and uh, the teeth were moved over this way, and this suspect was moved just sideways over there like that. Okay, uh, Weasel just moved up his full movement, revealed my suspect marker, which was valuable commodity, so he has the loot on him now. Okay, Joker Crew's next activation was Polka Dot Man, who basically just moved around over here and did nothing. Um, right before he started, though, Psychopaths was played as a resource just to burn it. And then the Suicide Squad played... Risk and all when he declared the movement action. Right. Which I have to put a suspect by. Yep. Uh, and then because of um, this marker over here, obviously I couldn't place a suspect near it because it's in my deployment zone. So um, his card for reinforcement beacon planted scores. Okay. For this activation, Destro Quint, he just walked up over to the window and with his handgun, he shot uh, the clown that was knocked down. Uh, hit twice, did two blood, two stun, killed him, yep. which uh, activated the interrogation mission. Uh, the clown dropped an interrogation marker, which is right by Cheshire. Yep, and uh, because he died, I played your expendable. Um, so I scored that one. And then because it has chaos and we each had to discard a card, I played poisoning Gotham as a resource and forced Teslin to discard his entire hand. So now we're back over to Joker. So Joker Crew's next activation was Thug Six. So he just walked over here to the sewer, used it with his free Inspire, and Extermination Mission was played. 
uh, by the Suicide Squad crew. Um, so we've been forgetting to keep track, but the teeth are moving around here. So you see it's down to two. It's going to go down to one after this activation. Um, so next activation, we'll see where they end up and if they explode and if I score the card. Next activation was Poison Ivy. Uh, she used a manipulate to go through the sewer from her equipment. So she went here. Uh, she threw spores at uh, Harley and Polka Dot Man. The spores affected Polka Dot Man, so he's minus one defense and he took a blood and poison. It didn't affect uh, Ivy or Harley. And then she tried to mind control the thug in front of her and he failed. <laughs> so uh, he didn't get mind control. Yep, and no cards were played on either side this activation. Um, so we'll do the, the teeth. He should be at one actually. And we'll see how far they go. And they're going towards Poison Ivy. Oops. Mm. It's going to be two inches. So that'll be like right there. And uh, do you have a template? Yeah. Just like right there. So what do we got? So we'll hit, looks like Weasel and Bodyguard Thug and... Diablo. Diablo, and it looks like Poison Ivy is just out. So, awesome. That card will score. Okay, so Joker Crew's next activation was Mad Hatter. So, he started over here. He moved up. Uh, he mind-controlled the vice uh, suspect that was over here. Uh, it was one of Teslin's. And he mind-controlled um, Polka Dot Man, who then shot his dots at Poison Ivy who transferred them over to Weasel. And no cards were played on either side. So we'll come back to you guys with the last activation of the Suicide Squad. Hit. Uh, last activation for Suicide Squad was Deadshot. He activated Bullet Time, walked up to the sewer, went through the sewer, came out by Harley, or by Poison Ivy, and tried to shoot uh, Polka Dot Mon with both weapons only doing pretty much stun as he reduced everything down. Yep, so Polka Dot Man just has five stun, one blood on him. Um, so last activation of the round for the Joker crew is going to be Harley. So we'll do her and see how that goes. So for the Joker crew, Harley was the next model to activate. So she started over here. She moved up base to base with Deadshot. She distracted him and she attacked him. Um, she ended up doing, what was it, five, no, four, four, four stun. Four stun, four blood. Yeah, four stun, four blood. Um, and she she was within four inches of this event marker, which allowed me to score stage play. Um, so we're playing it that because it was during her activation and I scored that card, I got to bring Joker in. Um, so she used her fast three to move to where you can see her. So she's base to base with Weasel and um, Deadshot. And then Joker came in right there where you can see him. And he basically poisoned the entire uh, Suicide Squad crew along with Harley and the Thug. Um, so now actually the last activation of the Joker crew is going to be Joker himself. Okay, so Joker came in with his explosive arrival. He attacked Deadshot and knocked him out. So that'll take us to the end of round one. Um, We'll go through all of our end of round stuff and then we'll come back with round two. Okay, so come back to you guys at the top of round two. So um, the end of last round, interrogation mission and taking the lead were both scored by the Suicide Squad. Um, everyone took blood from their poison rolls except for Deadshot. Um, Deadshot also managed to wake up. And as far as uh, cards played in phase one and two, uh, Psychopaths was played by the Joker crew. And Taken the lead was played by Suicide Squad. And also at the end of the round, uh, two guys didn't have task counters, so two bombs went into my deck. Thank, thank you for that, I forgot about that. Um, and then for Joker, Audacity was given to Harley and Mad Hatter. Um, the rest of them, I can just distribute it how I want. Uh, for Suicide Squad, TDK, Deathstroke, Poison Ivy, and Cheshire all got, uh, all got Audacity. Yep, 
and uh, the Joker crew won the roll to go first and is taking the first activation, so we'll come back with that. If you like what you're watching and want to help support the channel, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash battlebondmanagers, where we sell a variety of proxy models, terrain, and game accessories that can be used for an assortment of tabletop games. Use our discount code up on the screen for 10% off your next order, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and now back to the video. So the Joker crew's first activation this round was Harley, who was over here. So um, first thing that happened was stage play was played as an objective, and then Harley distracted Weasel and attacked um, Deadshot and ended up killing him. That puts two counters on stage play because of Joker. And then she just moved over here. Um, so that means that also taking the lead won't be able to score because the first casualty of the round was a Suicide Squad member. Um, so we'll come back with the first Suicide Squad activation. For my next activation, uh, Weasel Wind, I used a resource to allow him to have uh, an audacity. He put down a suspect marker, which scored target acquired. And then because he was hidden from Polka Dot Man, he ran up to him with sneak attack, activated Feral, and attack him, attacked him, hit everything and killed him. Yep. Um, and because uh, Polka Dot Man was killed, I scored your expendable. And because he counted as having audacity and did the two actions within four inches of a stage, I scored stage play because of Joker, and that actually counts as you put two markers instead of one. So we'll come back with uh, Joker. The next activation for the Joker crew was Mad Hatter, who started over here, and uh, he could actually see Weasel. Um, uh, Weasel got cover, but we shot at him, needing a two because of the distract from earlier. Hit him, did three blood, killed him. Then um, Mad Hatter moved to where you can see him. He used his mind control device on a suspect that was over here. Tried to mind control TDK, who passed his willpower roll. Um, we then put down a suspect here with Handyman and played let them do their thing. Uh, the template went 10 inches and managed to hit TDK for another two stun on him. And let me score that card. And I'm going to use call an ambulance. Should just put a medical crate by this suspect. All right. So that's it for the Joker activation. So we'll come back with Suicide Squad. Uh, Poison Ivy went. She mind controlled Thug Six. He walked back and tried to beat up the Axe guy. Uh, he did do a damage. So yep. my card extermination mission scored. Uh, then Poison Ivy tried to attack um, Joker. Just did a little bit of damage to him. Uh, she walked back this way. And then she put a suspect marker down, which scored target acquired. Nice. And she finished there. All right. So Joker's crew is next to activate. So the next activation for the Joker crew was Joker himself. So he started off by putting a suspect down where you see it, which let me score, let them in on the joke. Um, and then Poisoning Gotham was played as a resource. And we got Tesla to discard his hand. Uh, in it was a cranial bomb, so lucky him, I guess. <laughs> um, and then uh, Joker decided to use his special action to search the deck for another, let them in on the joke. Uh, and then he ran over here in the safety of the bodyguard. And uh, Teslin played Risking All on Joker. Okay, for this next activation, Diablo went. I just moved up and revealed Josh's suspect marker which scored me revealing the plan. Yep, and i um, sorry, we forgot to mention that uh, after Deadshot got killed, Poison Ivy took over as the boss. So he was in Inspire range to be able to do that. All right, so the next activation for Joker's crew was Thug4, who started over here. He used his grapple gun to get over base to base with TDK, and because he had four stun on him already, decided to just punch him with his fists and got enough damage through to knock him out. Um, he also placed a suspect where you can see it and played let them in on the joke. So we scored that as an objective. Uh, so for this activation, Deathstroke went. He walked up to the Axe Thug. Uh, he revealed the suspect marker to score reveal in the plan. And then he attacked, killed him, and used soul armor to heal a little bit of damage he had on him. Nice. 
So we've just got one more activation left for each crew. So we'll come back with those and then do our end of turn stuff. Okay, so last activation for the Joker crew for this round was Thug 6. So first thing we did was played uh, Seasoning the Mix as a resource. And we moved our suspect that was here back here. Um, we then moved up and we put a suspect down, which was within four inches of this sewer marker, which let us play Poisoning Gotham as an objective. Um, he then revealed the suspect that he put down with his free manipulate. And then he used his special to search for Bite the Dust and get another copy of that in my hand. So we just have Cheshire left, and then uh, that'll be it for the round. All right, for this activation, uh, Cheshire used Reinforcement Beacon Planted. She put it near the bodyguard prisoner. Then with a special and resource, she teleported to it. Uh, she dropped the suspect marker because she was within four of Poison Ivy, which scored me uh, risk and all because it was within four inches of Joker. And then she attacked uh, the thug and killed him. Okay, so that'll take us to the end of the round. So we'll go through our scoring and all of that, and then uh, we'll move on to round three. Okay, so end of round wrap up. Um, I got Psychopaths. And Teslin didn't get anything else for scoring. Um, Harley took a damage from Poison. TDK got up. Actually, he's not knocked down anymore. Uh, and then the only person who took damage from Poison was Diablo this time. So um, we rolled off, and Joker won the roll and is going to be going first for the next round. Okay, so just before we start the round here, so... Weasel came back because of his ability. Um, I played Let's Dance and Psychopaths as objectives. Okay, so first activation of the round for the Joker crew was Joker himself. We played Bite the Dust as a resource first off to discard our hand. He then moved to where you can see him, and he attacked uh, Cheshire, managed to knock her out, um, and Risking All was played on Teslin's side. So uh, that is it for the first activation. We'll come back with the Suicide Squad. Okay, the next activation was Weasel. Uh, Weasel ran up uh, to attack Harley Quinn. She, he had sneak attack, so he effort as much as he could. Only did a little bit of damage to her, but it was a crit, so it knocked her down and did slow too. Uh, he put a suspect marker down from his Inspire, which scored risk and all. And before his turn was done, he used the bomb to have his head explode. <laughs> uh, and because Harley took damage, uh, I scored Let's Dance. So we'll be back with something from the Joker crew. Okay, so the next activation for the Joker's crew is going to be, was Harley, sorry. sorry. Um, we also forgot to mention who had Audacity on the Suicide Squad side. So it was just everyone except for TDK. Um, so Harley stood up, activated. She moved over here, she placed a suspect. Um, it was a fish with, it doesn't look fresh. We dropped Bud and Lou, and she used her fast move, come back over here, and she used her special to search for another uh, bite the dust. And that was it for her. Okay, and I also played uh, Argus Intelligence as a resource to discard a cranial bomb from my hand. All right. So come back again with Suicide Squad. Yep, Next activation, I used Poison Ivy. Uh, she moved up eight to get around here. She mind controlled Lou. Lou attacked his other hyena. And then right after, Poison Ivy attacked and killed that one. Then with her extra special, she teleported to the beacon. And then with a resource from taking the lead, she moved two inches towards the uh, poison fish. And because she has the equipment, she removed it. Okay, so we'll be coming back with the next Joker crew activation. Okay, the next activation for the Joker crew was Lou, who was over here base to base with Cheshire. He, he was within aid of Harley, so he got a free tactical action and got to ignore the stupid rule. So he attacked Cheshire, killed her, um, dropped the fish, 
within four of the sewer over here. So that put a marker on poisoning Gotham and obviously got the fish down. Uh, and then he just moved back over here. All right, Suicide Squad is up next. All right, for this activation, Diablo went. Uh, he just placed down a suspect marker, which scored me target acquired. And then right after, his head exploded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, those cards are finally coming into play. All right, uh, we'll come back with the final Joker crew activation, which will be Mad Hatter. Okay, so last activation of the round for Joker was Mad Hatter. So he moved up a little bit here, and uh, he dropped a suspect, which uh, turned into Chattering Teeth from Bite the Dust. He then used his mind control device on um, a suspect that was right here, and he used it on Lou and hypnotized him. Um, Lou then ran over here face-to-face -face with TDK and knocked him out again. And that was it for that activation. So um, last activation of the round for Suicide Squad is going to be Deathstroke. Uh, this activation, Deathstroke went. Uh, he used his special to use the reinforcement beacon to place himself right by Ivy. Then he moved towards uh, Harley, attacked Harley. Um, sorry, before he attacked her, Let's Dance was played as a resource, and we swapped her for Blood over to Force Stun. Uh, which didn't save her because he did eight blood damage to her, killed her, yep. and he didn't score any cards. Okay, so we're on to end of round scoring and wrap up stuff. So we'll come back with that and then we'll come back with the final round. Okay, so end of round wrap up. Um, so I forgot that Harley was poisoned and I had seasoning the mix in my hand. So we scored a seasoning the mix. Um, our psychopaths scored and our it doesn't look fresh over here also scored. And, and then for me, uh, ruthless team scored. Ruthless team scored. Okay. So, yep. And uh, our poison checks, um, they were both failed, which meant that TDK actually died. So there's three models left for the Joker crew and two for the Suicide Squad. So we'll come back with our final round. Okay, so going into round four. So um, the Suicide Squad won the role to go first and elected to go first. Um, the Joker crew played Psychopaths and Showtime. So as you can see, all the suspects are base to base with Joker here. Uh, the timer is four. So once it counts down from four, if he's base to base with any of them, it scores. Uh, and as far as Audacities go, there is the one that gets assigned to um, Mad Hatter. It doesn't matter. They all have Audacity. And same with the Suicide Squad side. They all have Audacity. So we'll come back with the first activation of the Suicide Squad. Okay, this activation, Poison Ivy went. Uh, she basically just walked up to, was that Lou? Yeah. Tried to mind control, failed. Uh, attacked him, which knocked him out. Uh, she used her extra special to go back to the beacon. And then with her reveal from her equipment, she removed the poison fish. And that was her. Okay, so it was Mad Hatter's activation. So uh, first thing he did was drop a suspect right there, which got me the final tick I needed for poisoning Gotham. He then moved over here and he revealed one of Teslin's suspects, um, which scored me so long it's been a gas. And then I played Overdrive and it's just gonna go by Destro. Um, so, uh, I chose Mad Hatter, obviously, for the innervating stuff. He put down the suspect there, right behind him, and then he tried to mind control Deathstroke, uh, using the suspect that he placed right behind him, and was unsuccessful. So, we'll come back with the last activation for Suicide Squad. This activation, Deathstroke went. He picked up the Venom Dose, walked on the other side of Joker, ate up a medical crate to heal his stun, attacked Joker, hit with mostly everything, uh, killed him with eight blood, and then the cranial bomb activated and his head exploded. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Joker was the last model to activate for his crew. 
So that means that's it for the game. So we'll tally up our scores and we'll come back with uh, the results. Okay, so we tallied up the score and it is 40 for Joker and 32 for the Suicide Squad. Um, so probably some big takeaways. I very much enjoyed this Joker. He was cheap and he helped the deck out a lot. He basically did exactly what he needed to do every time. Uh, the new Harley I also really liked. She was a lot of fun. Um, this is not really a conventional list that you'd normally take with Joker, right? Like usually you want a, a bunch of really cheap henchmen. And honestly, the only reason that that didn't happen with me is because I don't have them painted yet. So we're just trying something else. Obviously, um, mind control, I think, was a, a bigger deal for me than it was for Teslin because I could mind control my own guys and basically double activate them. And that made a pretty big difference for some key activations. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't know. What do you think, Teslin? Uh, yeah, actually, your list, because it wasn't the traditional kind of henchman focused, it actually had really good defense against the uh, Suicide Squad, which is also a bunch of characters. Yeah. And they weren't able to just run you over right away. Like, they killed your henchmen, but when they had to actually deal with your regular guys, it was tough. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, my deck was scoring pretty well. I got some bad uh, luck having four cranial bombs in my hand on turn three <laughs> and then turn four i was stuck with a lot i just kept having cranial bombs and had to work with a couple objectives to try to score yeah yeah so i mean tough tough break on your end for that because you, you even ran out of guys to blow up to get them out of your hand right mm -hmm. so <laughs> uh yeah but anyways it was a fun game um playing joker i don't know just reminded me of how much fun he is to play i forget that often so yeah um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe. And we'll be back to you again with some more Batman miniature game battle reports.